Uh, spinal muscular atrophy is a hereditary neuromuscular disease that used to cause uh, severe disability or lead to premature death. During recent few years, we have three disease-modifying therapies that were uh, approved in Europe. And two of those therapies have been approved uh, for use in adult SMA patients. And I really think this is a breakthrough that was uh, so much awaited for the whole SMA community. Uh, as for the adult SMA patients, these are mostly patients with so-called SMA 2 or 3, the chronic uh, types of spinal muscular atrophy that uh, either for SMA 2 patients uh, were as severe that the patient was never able to walk. Uh, for SMA 3, the patients are able to walk at some part of their life, usually lose the ability to ambulate independently. The first drug uh, that is administered intrathecally uh, is available in Europe since 2017. This is Nusinersen. And uh, last year, an oral um, drug, uh, this diploma was approved uh, also for treatment for uh, patients with SMA, including adults. It is quite surprising that uh, until now, many of the adult patients across Europe still do not have access to treatment. And I believe that this is one of the very important unmet needs for our patients today. Definitely SMA 2 and 3 uh, are progressive diseases, even if the patients uh, adjust to their level of disability, uh, the disease modifying treatments, and we have quite um, immense data coming from the real world nowadays. Uh, they not only are able to stop disease progression, but they really can benefit in terms of regaining some of the functions uh, that are really important for them in terms of their everyday life. Of course, we try to measure these achievements with various scales that were uh, developed for evaluation of SMA patients, basically for children first. So we try to, uh, let's say, extrapolate some of what we know from the pediatric population, but we should really focus on the natural history of SMA in the adults and uh, try to address it both in terms of, um, let's say, uh, managing expectations of the patients, meaning that we will not be able to reverse everything that was already done with the disease process, but there is really a lot that can be gained with chronic treatment and the longer the patients have access with disease modifying treatments, the more positive results we are able to demonstrate.